Hello everyone and welcome to Sanctum TV. Today we're talking about Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns. So as many of you know, the release date for Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns is yesterday and I was lucky enough that two of my friends for my birthday brought me Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns and I was really, really happy with this. It was brilliant to be able to play it on the first day that it was released. It was exciting, it was new and it was a really, really good experience. So. I got a lot of footage from this and hopefully during the week either on Wednesday or Saturday I'll do a video so you can see the footage that I've got so far and tell me what you think. So a few things to mention, the um, it costs 60 hero points to un unlock your elite specialisation which I didn't realise at the time so when I saw it I was quite surprised. Luckily on my Mesmer I had enough um, in order to unlock my elite specialisation, the Chrono Master. Um, I did this mainly on my Mesmer because my Mesmer is my main character um, and I was very very much looking forward to Chrono Master. It's probably one I was looking forward to most, especially like the new shield abilities. They're really cool and it's good to have the Mesmer finally able to have some defence. So I wasn't able to unlock all of the Mesmer's new abilities so I can't tell you about that yet but when I do I'd like to do another video to show you so we can have a look at the um, abilities and see what you think. So. Um, the first thing you have to do when you get into uh, the game order to access the Maguma jungle is Torn from the Sky. So first thing you do is head for the Silver Wastes and from there you go to the Torn from the Sky um, mission and complete that and it takes you into Verdant Brink. It was quite a long um, story but I thought it was brilliant. Finally we're being completely immersed into the story and it was great to look through Verdant Brink with the story rather than just going in blindfolded. So I was really excited about that. The first thing I wanted to do, as many did, was just get gliding, go around the jungle and explore. Uh, you do have to do the story first and then afterwards you do some events with people. I just followed a commander um, in order to, to get some experience so I can unlock some mastery points. You need the mastery points to get the gliding. So it was actually quite fun going around and everyone, you could see because a lot of people was the first time um, yesterday so everyone was grouping together to get experience to go and do go and get enough experience to do the mastery so that was really nice to see it was really really fun um, doing the meta event and it's still going on today so if you haven't tried it out yet I would suggest it if you have got Guild Wars 2 or you haven't please ha watch the video that I released later on this week because I really think you might find it interesting and it might encourage you to buy it or get back into it if you haven't already because it is such a fun game and this has just progressed it so much further with Heart of Thorns. So definitely go and have a look at it and thanks for tuning in today, hopefully you'll tune in again soon.